All right, we're going to start by saying Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Rashai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Rashai, Kohala Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Rashai, Kohala Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Rashai, Ba'ashim Rakat Kwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that told me this doctrine and truth and sincerity. Shalom unto the elect. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, which means He is or He exists. Ba'ashim in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We know His name to be Yahweh Shai, which means He is the deliverer, He is the Savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your Father. Ba'ashim in the name of the Rakat Kwadash, which means the Holy Spirit, that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. To so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, or of the speckled bird, looking like the other nations, in your spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai, then you could be one of the elect. Shalom. We would discontinue from our heritage because we went on following after false gods and false idols, now following the law, and commandments that was given to us by our forefathers, and because of those offenses, we were sent into captivity. Okay, but through our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashah being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, He's been given all power to be able to sit on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding to the very elect. Okay, the ones that would be quickened with the Holy Spirit, and they would be able to believe in Yahweh Bashem Hamashah, and they would be able to have the sound doctrine, and they would be able to have. Uh, the sound names of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and the ancient Hebrew, and His only begotten Son's name is what Yahweh Shai. Okay, and through that name, Yahweh Shai, and through being followers, and through uh, suffering and sacrifice, Lord willing, we could be of that number to be able to be saved, because only the elect's going to be able to be saved. Okay, they're actually the only ones that are going to be, um, you know, blessed in the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, because they're going to have the knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Okay, and... The Lord has given us a warning of the said destruction, that there's going to be famine, pestilence, evils on the earth, okay? And to what cleave unto him, cleave unto these words that the prophets are speaking, cleave unto the light, which is the, the words that are in the scriptures, which is um, our Lord Yahweh Shai, okay? Which is the truth, the comforter, okay? The the wisdom, the prophets, you know, um, Yahweh Shai, okay? The understanding, you know, the, you know, rehearsing the righteous acts as far as following you know, beginning to uh, follow the customs of being an Israelite to the best of your ability. Okay. And the Lord will what, be able to what, purge away our sins. And that has to be what your belief and, and through your belief, that's, that's, that's the Lord what blessing you. Okay. So I want to start right here. This is Psalms one and one. It says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. Okay. So what you're seeing is you have a lot of, um, you know, false prophets, okay, that are on the scene. And what are they doing? They're mocking and scoffing, um, you know, with their with their doctrine, okay? But it, they can't do nothing against the truth but for the truth, okay? And who's the ungodly? Esau, Edom. What's what's his doctrine? That pale face white image, okay? Uh, Christianity, Roman Catholicism. And the Lord has sent forth understanding to, uh, via the prophets, to be able to give our people warning as far as the believers, Okay, to walk in with the righteous path, to walk down that straight path and not the broad way with the ungodly. Okay, because the ungodly, uh, Esau Edom, okay, wants to have um, his new world order. And part of his new world order is the mark of the beast. Okay, and the mark is something physical they want embedded inside your hand or your forehead. That's why you see the, the petrol dollar, the dollar that folds is going away. Okay, and the digital currency is coming in, the CBDC, Central Bank and Digital Currency which is going to lead to what the mark of the beast, which is leading to what you're buying and selling. Okay. Cause they want to control your buying and selling. And how do they do that? They want to implement something in your hand or your forehead so they can be able to track every movement. Cause Esau Edom has a God complex. Okay. And it's a blessing to be able to know that that mark in revelation 13 and 16 is something physical. Okay. And those that have the wisdom are able to uh, see what it is and to be able to, um, you know, uh, trust in the Lord and go down that straight path because it's not uh, resources are going to be cut off as far as you're not going to be able to go to your store and things like that unless you have that mark. But the Lord is going to provide for us, you know, food, water and shelter and for of that number. So blessed is the man that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. And what's the ungodly speaking profane things, um, saying we're not to worship Yahweh Shai. OK, um, you know, um, pushing doctrines that are not of Yahweh Shem Shai. Okay, saying that heathens can be able to be saved. Okay, that's walking in the ways of the ungodly. Okay, because when you think about what Esau has has done, you know, when you look at, um, for instance, um, you know, Jeffrey Epstein. Okay, and the, the stuff that's going on with that. You you want those guys to be saved? 
okay? Because this is what they're constantly going to be doing. If they're, if you know, if they if they had their way, they would be constantly engaged in wickedness. Why? Because they are the vessel of wrath fitted for destruction. Okay, they are what the rulers of darkness, and it speaks about Ephesians 6 and um, 10 on down. Okay, the rulers of darkness. Okay, Malachi 1 and 4, they are the border of wickedness. Okay, they are the what the harbingers of death, it speaks about in Romans. Okay, these are the wicked. These are the ungodly. Okay, what makes them ungodly? Because they don't, uh, uh, um, they don't follow the scriptures. Why? Because the scriptures are not for them. And if they do use the scriptures, they use it for to be able to um, push enchantments on our people. Okay, and and how do you walk uh, towards the Lord by what um, you know prayer, you know prayer, which means to beg, and then doing the works of the Lord that the Lord wants you to do. And one of those things is what calling upon the correct name. Okay, not being a mocker and a scoffer, but accepting the reproof. Okay, one of the things that you learn when you when when you um, first come into the when the Lord brings you into the truth is that you know not to celebrate these pagan holidays. Okay. So that's just that's something that that's able to help you because you're not celebrating in those 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 um, customs that our Lord Yahweh Shemashai hates those feast days, okay? Just like calling upon those false names, Most High Christ blessed. That's that's not that's not following the ways of of righteousness. That's not following the ways of what that straight path, okay? That means that you're trying to be of the world. You wanna you want everybody to be saved, and the only people that are gonna be saved is what the very elect, okay? The ones that are truly blessed. So it says, um, I want to go into this word bless, right? <clears throat> and it's it's not of our own doings, okay? This is a, a gift from Yahabah Shema Hashai to be able to have this understanding, to be able to even um, be quickened with the Holy Spirit, okay? To be able to have life because you have Jakes that are walking around, okay? Um, you know, physically, but they're spiritually dead from the neck up because they don't have the understanding of who they are. They're involved in Buddhism, you know, five percenter. Uh, you know, Nation of Islam, they're involved in all this, um, you know, um, enchantments, all these sorcery, all these idol idol worships, okay? And, and they're not involved in what the Lord, the Lord's work. So what is the Lord going to do? The Lord's going to what, bless, uh, you know, bless them, but the Lord's going to um, judge them, okay? Put them out of their misery. Because again, you know, when you're, when you're in that mind state of thinking that heathens can be saved and things, uh, you know, heathens can be saved and that, that most high Christ blessed spirit. When you're in those spirits, you actually got demons on you. You got heavy demons on you. Okay. Because that's not uh, the doctrine of the Lord. Strong's H835. Esher. Esher. And the reason why is because the Lord has what blessed us with understanding. Okay. He has given us a straight up gift um, that no one else can give you. Okay. It has to be given from above which is what the Holy Spirit to be able to walk, to want to walk in the righteous path. Okay. So it's Hebrews 835, Ashar. Okay. Let me see. It says happiness, blessedness. So this is the one I want to go into the entomology, going the root word of it. Ashar. Okay. Strong's H 833. Asher. 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 Okay, and that's the in the form Hebrew. Just below that. Asher. Asher. All right. So going down, it says to go straight, to walk, to go on advance, to make progress. Yeah, and so how is, um, you know, calling on Most High Christ blessed, how is that progressive? That's not progressing. That's that's the old ways. Okay, or far as those are the, the those are the, you know, that old men. Okay, you have to let go of those old ways, calling on those old names, because those names are nothing but they have deities, they have demons on them. But the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are what pure names. And those are the true names, the proper names of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, okay, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and the Lord has given us um, intimate knowledge to be able to, um, to, under, to, 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 to believe in those names that our elders have given us, okay? Yeah, to go straight, to walk, to go on, to advance, to make progress, to go straight. Okay, and that's what we're we're pushing towards. What progression? Progression in what towards our Lord Yahweh Shai and the relationship that the Lord has a uh, building with us through what the um you know uh, via the Holy Spirit and through what the message that brothers are bringing out you know bringing out uh, you know exhortations you know reproof rebukes but also reporting on uh, prophecy. 
okay because the the prophecy uh is the spirit of our lord okay that means that our lord is coming quick to what go straight on to advance okay and the lord is what advancing us in knowledge wisdom understanding because you have knowledge increasing on the left hand side with esau edom and his hypersonic missiles and these drones and all these different things on the left hand side but also you have on the right hand side our lord you have a shy what advancing his men to be able to see the technology and for what it is okay and to be able to um go into the scriptures and filter through the scriptures and be able to give the true warning okay to be able to what advance the kingdom okay towards uh what rulership because the lord's raising up um a you know peculiar treasure but um you know priests you know royal priests okay that are going to be what judging the earth okay that's why when you read um wisdom of solomon one Okay, because what's happening is there's an inquisition on the ungodly. Okay, and really what's happening is that one kingdom is being put down and one kingdom is being brought up. And the, the kingdom that's being brought up is the kingdom of Yasha Allah. Okay, which which is what Israel. Okay, through our, our king of king, lord of ghosts, uh, Yahweh Shai, and the tabernacle of David being built up as the days of old. Okay, going into uh, sovereignty, going into us having our, uh, they see the nations in subjection. Okay, and then being subject to what our our customs and our um you know uh, things that were given to us by by Haba Shai to what advances in the the um the kingdom. Okay, so this is wisdom of Solomon one and one. Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Think of the Lord with the good heart and simplicity of heart. Seek Him. So we're supposed to be what seeking Him. Okay, and that's a that's a way that you know that someone's not a man of the Lord because they don't even seek Him. Okay, one of the things that we're supposed to be doing is being out there on the highways and the byways and calling upon the correct names. Okay, that's that's one of the ways that you know um, a man of the Lord. But then it also, you're going to have people that are doing the work and things like that, but they're what? They're building a vain temple. Okay, they're not advancing. Okay, they're because their heart, which is their mind, is not what locked in on the um, the goal of what Yahabah Shem Shai which is what? To have the very elect be sealed. Their mind is on what's staying here, okay? Being involved in what? Darkness, being involved in what? Um, you know, um, the ways of the world, okay? And what's happening is they're being found out. They're being exposed, okay? And people are what, you know, um, you know, they get hurt and they try to what? Slander, but the Lord's going to protect us from what? Slander, okay? Because every word is going to be accounted in the day of judgment, okay? No one's going to be able to escape Okay, the things that they spoke against the Lord. Okay, it says wisdom of Solomon one and seven, for the spirit of the and and going into that, those that are speaking what uh, uh you know, peaceful you know those that are speaking the things of the Lord, you're going to be able to receive that reward. Okay, the good things that you speak of the Lord, far as the sound doctrine, those that are speaking against the Lord, they're all they're going to get their cardinal judgment. Galatians six and seven. Okay, wisdom of Solomon one and seven. It says. Yeah, for the spirit of the Lord filled the world and which containeth all things had knowledge of the voice. Yeah, the spirit of the Lord filled the world. So that's what's happening is what the message is being pushed throughout four corners of the earth through the what the conduits, the, the channels that are being pushed on YouTube that you're able to get brothers um, videos worldwide. OK, uh, Isaiah 19 speaks about that wisdom of Psalm 8. OK, and brothers are speaking in um, different languages, but they're speaking the same accord far as teaching teaching the people in whatever uh, place that they're at okay we're being gathered by the word of what Yahweh shot and that is what a uh, blessing okay and then what the the knowledge of the voice who's the voice our lord Yahweh shot that's the speech that's being uh, conducted okay who's who's the ones that are speaking the prophets okay because that is the spirit of the lord's mouth the lord what touches our mouth okay to be able to speak uh um the judgments that are going to be upon the earth, but also to to speak healing for those that have eyes to see and ears to hear. Okay, <clears throat> it says, um, "Hey, therefore he that speaketh unrighteous things cannot be hid; neither should vengeance when it is punished pass by him." Okay, so who's speaking unrighteous things? Esau, Edom. Okay, the ungodly, which is also okay, even two thirds of our people because they are surpassed um, the wicked. And their deeds, as far as their actions. When you see uh, most of the commercials, you're always seeing Jake. Well, they, they do that, you know, intentionally to push, um, you know, man on man, woman on woman. And again, how is that progressive? The brothers from, um, you know, over the pond were speaking about that. Okay. That 
how is that progressive a man on man or a woman on woman or a transformer? How is that going to be able to, that, that makes a land desolate. That makes it what barren. Okay. And, it, and, and those unrighteous things are not being hit anymore. Now they're what Luke 12 and two, they're being exposed. Who are they being exposed by the prophets? Also, uh, the Lord is having a spirit on these different, uh, you know, other people to what expose this devil. Okay. And then we're able to, you know, through the power of Yahweh Shemesh, I see it and to be able to what speak it, to be able to speak the voice of what the Lord. Okay. To be able to give that true warning. Okay. It says nine for inquisition shall be made unto the counsels of the ungodly and the sound of his word shall come unto the Lord for his manifestation of his wicked deeds. Okay. Yeah. So the things that he's speaking. Okay, we see it, we report on it. Okay, that message is sent out to our Lord Yahabashim Ashai so he can be able to know the time that we're in. And what are they speaking about? The mark of the beast. Okay, you have places that are that are actually, you know, in Sweden, it's just a normal thing. Okay, uh, you know, uh these different um, you know, leaders, you know, as far as these cult of personalities that you see, they're speaking about it, how they want to implement something. The the president um or the like the CEO of Nokia, okay, um his name is uh, Pekka Lundmark, okay, and that's spiritual in itself, Lundmark, okay, is he said that, um, you know, in 2030, they want to be, the phone that you have will no longer be your phone, it will, you know, the phone will be embedded inside your body, okay, implant, okay, look up the word implant in Google, okay, it's in, they want to put it inside of you so they can be able to control your buying and selling, and if you don't comply, Okay, like Aaron, you know, the apostles always speak about Aaron, that, that meeting with, um, or that uh, sit down with Aaron Russo and, and um, Aaron Russo and uh, Alex Jones, where they were speaking about um, what the elites want, that they want to be able to put that C-hip inside of somebody to be able to control their buying and selling. So they can be able to have what, uh, um, again, Esau Edom has a God complex so they can enter into your temple because they know um, that it's, you know, against the Lord. Okay, but the Lord has given us warning what via the prophets. Okay, and that's going to lead to where uh, there's going to be mass, um, you know, a time of Jacob's trouble because that also be considered what the hour of temptation. Okay, and the Lord is what advancing us in the in the mindset. Okay, of of knowing that it's going to be a, a you know a bad time. Okay, uh, Acts fourteen and twenty two through much tribulation we shall enter to the kingdom. Also, you know, First Peter five and eight. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, is like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. And who is that roaring lion? That's speaking about what Esau eat him when he comes in like a flood with his military soldiers. Okay, these super soldiers, these these uh, super dogs. Okay, these drones. Okay, and also what they have different pestilence they can just you know put on the people. Okay, where they have what uh, the the direct energy weapons we saw uh, the do. Okay, we saw that happen in uh, over there in um, you know over there in uh, what is that Hawaii. OK, so the Lord is, is is making us a quick understanding to be able to not be ignorant of what Satan's devices. OK, and that this devil is devising iniquity and it's going to get worse and worse. But the Lord has protection. That's why it's a, a blessing to be able to have this knowledge, wisdom, understanding to be what a, a shar. OK, in the Hebrew, 833, a shar. OK, which means bless. OK. <clears throat> so this is wisdom of Solomon one and nine for inquisition. So inquisition is a heavy courtroom setting. Okay, and who are the judges of the earth? Those would be the the, the prophets. Okay, the apostles, starting with the head apostle at Great Millstone. Okay, and the men that follow what the land where the land wherever he goes, as far as in the sound doctrine. So we're judging Esau Edom. Okay, we're putting that inquisition on them. Uh, inquisition, as far as where were you, and you know. May 1st, 1776, when they started with the you know, the so-called New World Order, the Novus Order Socorium, okay, which is on the back of your dollar bill. Where were you then? Okay, where were you, you know, three, four years ago when that thing happened? Okay, why are you saying there's going to be another one? Why are you saying there's going to be polycrisis? Why are you going to say, why are you saying there's going to be black swan events? Because they're openly telling you that's part of their cabal as to what they have to tell you what they're doing. So then when they, when they come out with it, they, they can't say, oh, you know, we didn't, we didn't tell you. OK, but they use it in the form of what the wiles of the devils, the craftiness and the crafty counsel of the wicked. OK, also in Ephesians 6, that's a heavy chapter because it goes into the uh, the spirit, the armor of light and how the Lord protects us and puts that helmet of salvation around us, which the helmet of salvation is our Lord Yahweh Shai. OK, to keep our mind um, invested in Yahweh Hashem Shai and not invested in anything else. You can't be um, double minded in this thing. James 1 and 8, a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. 
okay and also what metal uh metal not with them you know um subject subject to change okay roughly paraphrasing that okay and people that are you know you know on fire one day then they're not on fire then 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 uh you know you got to watch out you got to pay attention to to certain things okay because again the lord is what making a separation between his true men and then um you know the the, the two-thirds okay through what um through the things that are going on because the lord has given the the vision to the believers you know first the prophets and the apostles right okay the apostles and the prophets right but also to the believers to what to not cling on to to people that are pushing false doctrine okay it says wisdom of psalm 1 and 9 for inquisition shall be made into the counsels of ungodly and the sound of his word shall come unto the lord for the manifestation of his wicked deeds so again we're reporting on the things that are going on as far as the wicked deeds as far as what time we're in that's how you measure the time diligently is through what prophecy second ezra 9 and 1 okay so this is uh one more in this uh, scripture wisdom of psalm 1 and Let's see, where's the song one? Yeah, right here. And eleven. Actually, I'll go to ten. Wisdom of Psalm one and ten. For the ear of the jealousy heareth all things, and the noise of the murmurings is not hid. Yes, so the noise of the murmuring. So the things that are going on in darkness and those that actually truly don't believe in the Lord Yahavashai, okay, they're hurt. Okay. Therefore beware of murmuring. Yeah, so backbiting, you know, slander, mockery. Okay, hear of these things, Saki. Therefore, beware of the murmurings, which is unprofitable. Yeah, saying that the Lord is not going to come back. Okay, uh, trying to come up against the Lord because you can't do nothing against the truth but for the truth. Okay, all you're doing is furthering the doctrine by showing the showing the Lord showing us that there is false prophets out there, but there's also the true men of the Lord, right? So this is uh, Wisdom of Psalm 111. Therefore, beware of murmuring, which is unprofitable, and refrain from your tongue from backbiting. For there is no word so secret that shall not go for naught, and the mouth that Belial slayeth the soul. Oh, yeah, because the things that you speak, okay, is actually, um, when you speak against the Lord, you're actually slaying yourself. Okay, you're actually perishing um, away. Okay. And the Lord is what advancing his elect to be what happy to be. Um, you know, far as, you know, <laughs> again, we're in captivity. Okay. But happy far as we're, um, happy that the Lord is uh, supping with us. Okay. To be able to what lead us. Okay. To lead, to relieve. Okay. And we want relief because this is what, not our rest. This is not a place of what rest. Okay. You wake up, you, you know, you wake up, you think it's a sunny day. You go outside. Okay. Bearing aluminum in the air. OK, um, you know, these these different women, you know, even the, the, the men, the men being women, vice versa. OK, that Sodom and Gomorrah spirit. OK, um, the food that you eat, GMO foods. OK, Merkur, even if you're eating healthy, you, you know, you go to Whole Foods and things like that. You can't trust this devil. And it speaks about we shall eat our, our bread defiled among the heathen. OK, relief. Need relief. Relief. Yeah, because what are they trying to do? OK, they're trying to cut off the, the principal things. Okay, food, water, shelter, milk, they're trying to uh, cut off those also, um, the different resources. Okay, and what is the Lord saying? That when they cut these things off, if you trust in me, I will be able to provide you everything that you need. Okay, but you got to trust in me and you got to, what uh, you know, do it now. Make no tearing to turn from the Lord. Okay, because again, those that are playing with the Lord or, or thinking that the Lord, you know, playing the Lord lightly. Okay, you're going to find out that the Lord is also known as the El Shadia. That was one of his titles. Okay, but his proper name is Yahweh, which means he is or he exists. So he can either come with healing in his hands through his through his uh Yahrashai and his men with the word, okay, or he can come with the um you know the judgment, okay, which is gonna be with that sword. Okay, and those that think it's you know playing the Lord lightly or or you know um you know slacking the work, okay, it speaks about um be fervent in the spirit, you know, uh slake. it speaks about not being slothful. And being what fervent in the business, fervent in the business of what, doing the work of Yahavashai, okay? Because in in the day that we're coming into a time of Jacob's trouble, the hopeful year of the time of Jacob's trouble, okay? There's there's um people who are not going to have food, water, and shelter. Who's the only one that's going to have relief? Okay, the very elect. Relieve. Cause pain, distress, difficulty to become less severe or serious. Release someone from duty by taking their place. Okay. And Yahweh Shai, 
has, you know, um, through his sacrifice, okay, has the blood covering us, okay, if we're of the elect, has the blood covering us, meaning to be able to protect us, to be able to be saved, okay, through what sending forth the water, which is the truth, giving us the understanding to be able to quicken our spirit, to be able to wash us clean. So we can be able to um, be acceptable uh, when the Lord comes down with great judgment. Okay. And and we're not in our, this is not our rest. Okay. So we, every day we wake up with uh, certain infirmities, things going on. Okay. Got to go to work. Okay. Got to deal with, you know, just, just every day being in uh, Babylon, the great, which Babylon means confusion. America means bitter. Okay. We need to be relieved. Who's going to, who's the only person that can relieve us is Yahweh Shai. Okay. Cause he is the one that is pure. He's coming with the sound doctrine. He's not, he's not telling, uh, telling us, you know, uh, uh, uh lies. Okay. He's telling us what the truth and that's why Yahweh Shai is hated. He's calling us, right? So how is he calling us? He's calling us by what having the men out there. Okay. And he's guiding us down to what a path of what um, salvation, okay, down to what that straight path, right? To be able to know uh, the good things, okay? And to be able to see the bad things, okay? So I want to go into this. <laughs> it says, uh, Psalms 9 and 6, forsake the foolish and live and go in the way of understanding. So that's the way we're supposed to be going, the way of understanding, okay? Not the way of, a way of this world, Okay? Let me read a little bit of this. It says, um, seven, he that reproved the scorner. Yeah, I want to go into this. This is uh, Proverbs 9 and 6. It says in the NLT, let me see. All right. So right here, six, Proverbs 9 and 6 in the NLT, it says, leave your simple ways behind and begin to live. Yeah, because when you, when the Lord brings you into this understanding, you're actually truly living. When you go to Proverbs uh, 21 and 6, it speaks about, um, you know, those that are walking in the congregation of the dead. Okay, let me get that real quick. And it's not going to be easy. You know, there's going to be times that you fall. Okay, but the thing is, is that a righteous man fall, what, uh, you know, seven times, but it's how he gets up. Seven going into what completion. Okay, the Lord loves a good fighter. Okay, that what striving for what the mastery strive means to fight. You know, we're spiritually fighting for what our, to hold on to that crown. Okay, to the power of Yahweh Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandered out of the way of understanding that shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Yeah, because again, people are walking around. They're physically alive. But if you don't have this understanding of Yahweh Shema Shai, okay, then you're actually in the congregation of dead, okay, and when there is no vision, the people perish. If you can't see the kingdom, okay, then the Lord has truly not blessed your eyes. He isn't. He's not giving you the eye self, okay, and that's you know you got to ask the Lord for for whatever increase, or or you know, to be able to um, you know prayer without ceasing, okay. The Lord has given us spiritual tools, right. So Proverbs 9 and 6, it says, leave your simple ways behind and begin to live. Learn to use good judgment. Yeah, what's good judgment? Okay, not not uh, saying that you're not supposed to worship your Okay, that's not that's not good judgment. Because when you read John 5 and 23, it says to worship your Shai, also as well as the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay, your is always, always giving reverence to it, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Always. Okay. And it's in the same John 5 and 23, that all men should honor the son, even as you honor the father. He that honored not the son, honor not the father, which has sent him. So when you, when you say, when you're not honoring your Shai, okay, you're actually not honoring the father. Okay. And what did, what did Yahweh Shai uh, say right here? Wait, um, no, it's Matthews, Matthews 5 and 48. Matthews 5 and 48, be ye therefore perfect, be ye therefore perfect, even as your father, which is heaven is perfect. So in John, okay, it said to worship what, or to honor what Yahweh Shai is, you honor the father. And what what is Yahweh Shai saying right here in red letter? He's saying that be perfect as my father in heaven. Okay. And what is Yahweh Shai showing? He's showing you that there's an order, that I get my doctrine from the heavenly father. And he, he tells me what to do. And I just follow the order because I'm the image of him. When you read Hebrews 1, it speaks about the image of the Lord. And the Lord, Heavenly Father, Yahweh has given us access to Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai has given us access to the Holy Spirit to be able to open the seals of this book. 
okay? To even the fact that you even know that you're an Israelite is Yaharashai, you know, uh, 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 showing some form of what? Uh, mercy, okay? And a blessing, okay? But you have to cleave unto it. You have to hold on to it. And a lot of people don't want to um, respect the judgment that's coming down, okay? But they will, okay? Because it's a get down or lay down mentality, okay? Yaharashai is not playing. He's coming with Dan uh, Sakia. Matthews 10 and 34, that great sword, which is the judgment. Proverbs 9 and 6, it says, leave your simple ways behind and begin to live. Learn to use good judgment. Anyone who rebukes a mocker will get an insult in return. Yeah, because people don't want to be, um, you know, told what to do. Okay, especially when they see, you know, a, a Jake that they, they might even know him. They might even know him from back in the day. Man, you're not a prophet. You know, why are you reading that Bible? I know who you are, this this type of energy. Why? And the Lord has done that because to be able to, um, you know, give the wisdom to what babes, which which would be uh, when you go into the word babes, it goes into being unskilled. As far as we didn't go to an actual uh, school to be able to learn this, the Lord what quicken us with the, the Holy Spirit. And and in that sense, um, the things of this world, you know, that are seen to be, um, you know, wise, like, you know, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, they're seen as what wise in this world, but they're actually foolishness unto the Lord. Okay. And the Lord did that uh, for a reason, just like he chose the, the, um, the people of Israel. He didn't chose it because of the, the number of them. He chose it because th that's the Lord's portion. Okay. So in that, in that you're going to have Jake's that are what stiff neck. That's why it speaks about in Jeremiah one. Okay. To what, um, you know, to have your, you know, uh, you know, have a, uh, you know, basically their forehead to, to their forehead as far as mentality. OK, because, again, many people are going to mock and scoff. They're going to say it's the white man's Bible. OK, um, they're going to say that it's the, um, you know, you know, you know, th these things are not going to happen in this time. OK, but the believers are going to believe and they're going to follow what you have a shy. They're going to follow the Messiah. OK, into the. Into the time of Jacob's trouble. Why? Because they believe, and ultimately because they are the flock of Yahweh, which is the elect. Okay, Proverbs nine and seven. Anyone who rebukes a mocker will get an insult in return. Anyone who corrects the wicked will get hurt. So don't yeah, because the the wicked are not going to be corrected. It's just simple as that. You're not going to. That's why when people try to change someone's thought pattern, you know you. That's why it speaks about after the first or second, third ammunition what you reject them because again they're not going to get it it's not for everyone that's why it speaks about psalm 69 and 22 and also romans 11 and 7 basically uh david was speaking about let their um let their table become a snare and what's that table that's the scriptures okay they're they're um the table that they're eating off okay because they're not eating at the table with you have a shy they're eating at a you know they're eating at the ungodly's table Okay, and one of those instances is what that 501c3 contract that's eating at Esau Edom's table because it says make no contract with the heathen. OK, and also this devil is not to be trusted because ultimately what's going to happen is that, um, you know, that Matt's going to be you know taken away far as that that covering that you had in, in the ungodly. Eventually, they're going to want something for that. OK. So rock 14 and 7, if he doeth good, he doeth unwilling. At last, he will declare his wickedness. And this is his last dish effort. Okay, he has nothing else to, to hide. So he's going to show you everything that he's doing. Okay, but you have to have the the um, the eyes have to be able to see that the Lord gives us. Okay, straight up gift. Uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 7 speaks about that. The Lord has given us what a um, earthly treasure or given us, a, um, you know, given us a, um, a treasure in what earthly vessels. Okay. Proverbs 9 and 8 in the NLT, it says, so don't bother correcting mockers. They will only hate you, but correct the wise and they will love you. That's right. And that's what um, the elders have taught us. OK, they corrected us. OK, because we, we didn't know we were, you know, we were lack of knowledge. When you first come in, you, you only know maybe a couple of things. And really, you're supposed to let all those things go. OK, and what here, this the new song that's being sung, which new goes into the Greek word kainos, which means refresh. Okay, we're being brought back to who we are, to what love the Lord. Okay, because the love of this world is enmity with the Lord. Okay, you're not supposed to love the world or the things in it. Okay, and one of them is the what the darkness, the, the bugged out doctrines. Okay, and the Lord is instructing us by sending forth men to be able to seal the instruction as far as the message that's coming. Hey, Yahweh is coming, get right. Okay, repent or perish. 
right? Proverbs 9 and 9, instruct the wise. Yeah, the wise are the ones that are able to see. Okay, let me go into this. So it says, Proverbs 9 and 9, it says, give instruction to a wise man and he will hear, yet wiser teach a just man and he will increase in learning. Yeah, so, and that's what, when when uh, the Lord's truly supping with you, you're able to increase in what the, the more of the glory of the Lord. Okay, through what him, him giving you what wisdom or giving you what to be wise, right? Let's see what the Strong wise is. Chacham. Chacham. Okay, in the Hebrew, 2450. Hakam, okay, wise, wise men, skillful, technical work, okay, wise in administration, cunning, wiles, yeah, so we're actually able to see the cunningness of the devil, okay, because we're able to see what he's doing, okay, that's why it speaks about, um, you know, being a serpent, a serpent knows both sides, okay, wise is a serpent, harmless as doves, why, why a serpent, because a serpent knows both sides, a serpent is what prudent, wise, uh, ethically, Okay, religion is supposed to be, that's what we're supposed to be in. Wise in what the um, the followings of Yahabah Shemashai, intelligent. How are we intelligent? Because the Lord has given us wisdom to be able to see. Okay, wise hearted. Yeah, so wise in what the mind. Okay, and that's all through the Yahabah Shemashai. Why? Because we have the um, the mind of what the, the Messiah. Okay, was that 1 Corinthians? I believe that's uh, 1 in. <clears throat> Let me get that. 1 Corinthians 2 and uh, about 16, I think. Let me go on the root word while this loads up. Strong's H, 2449. Chacham. Chacham. And that's how, and, and through the having the mind of the, the Messiah, we're able to what, judge certain things. Okay, and how do you judge it? You judge it through with the scriptures. Okay, not of your own understanding, but of the scriptures. There's uh, everything... And this Bible is written, it's an instruction manual on what to follow, okay? And what happens if you don't follow it, okay? 1 Corinthians 2 and 16, For who had known the mind of Yahweh that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of the Messiah. So we have the mind of the Messiah as far as our heart, okay? Our mindset, okay? Just like Yahweh laid down his, his life for what Israel ultimately, and for the elect to be able to get the understanding in this time, okay? And that's the same thing the men are doing. Okay, and Yahweh Shai is our leader. He's our big brother, our intercessor. He's our everything. That's why it's very important to what worship him, because the heavenly Father Yahweh sent him, as well as the Father Yahweh Ba Hashem Shai. That's why the elders taught us that Yahweh Ba Hashem Shai. Okay, because the heavenly Father Yahweh sent His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, and He told us to what follow the instructions that He has. Okay, He is our you know our steward. He is our captain, you know our captain of salvation. Right, I believe it says. It says, um, all right, so going back to this, this is Hebrews 2, 2, or it's like a 2, 4, 4, 9, Hakam, okay, it says to make wise, to teach wisdom, okay, and to be able to uh, teach wisdom, you, that means you have to have, you know, the Holy Spirit dealing with you, okay, to be able to actually accept the instruction, because people will hear the message, okay, but they'll refuse it. Okay, but wisdom will guide you down that um down that straight path. Okay. That speaks about in um what is that, Luke 13? Okay, that straight path or Matthew's, you know, seven. Okay, I might go to that. <clears throat> this is um wisdom of Solomon. This is wisdom of Solomon eight. Okay, and who is Solomon? Solomon, um, you know, King Solomon was Yahweh Shai. Okay, if you can be able to receive that. Okay, and this is what uh, Solomon is saying. He says right here, it says, yeah, wisdom of Solomon 8 and 16. After I come into my house, it says, after I come into my house, I will repose myself with her. Her is speaking about wisdom. For her conversation had no bitterness, and to live with her had no sorrow, but mirth and joy. Going into being a blessed to what not not walk in the ways of the ungodly. Okay, there is no bitterness in what the uh, the wisdom. 
okay? Because in wisdom, you understand that there's both good and evil, okay? And that we have to um, accept both far as we accept both far as, um, and I'm speaking particularly as our journey, okay? We're going to have good times and we're going to have bad times, but that's still of the Lord, okay? And the wisdom, and it's wisdom to be able to, un to, to know that. Okay, because a lot of people in the world they they're mad at they're mad at the Lord. Okay, but it's not the Lord that's doing it. It's the where well, Saki. It is the Lord that's doing it, but it's the people, the way that their actions towards the Lord. So the Lord is what judging them. So once you understand judgment, okay, you can understand Yahweh Hashem Hashem because He is the judge. So whatever He says is going to be done. So if you don't want to be uh, obedient to the Lord, like we were disobedient, what happened? Hardcore slavery, still in captivity. But the Lord has given us mercy to be able to be mentally and spiritually, uh, mentally and spiritually free. And ultimately, when it comes down to that point of being uh, physical, okay, the Lord is going to what implement that that standard. Okay, in Isaiah fifty nine and nineteen, where it speaks about the word standard, you go into that word, it goes into the Hebrew uh, noise, which goes into standard, or socket, which socket, which goes into um, disappear to take flight. Okay, through what the wisdom, okay, the Lord is going to instruct us, right? It says 17. Now, wisdom of Solomon 8 and 17. Now, when I consider these things in myself, I ponder them in my heart. So in our mind. Okay, what do we consider? The things that brothers were speaking about, whether through the Internet or we were on the highways and the byways, whatever way the Lord what guided us and directed our paths. We don't have free will. Now, I will consider these things in myself. And yeah, because you have to examine yourself. Okay. Every, every, that's a daily thing. We have to examine ourselves if we be in the faith or not, because we don't want to be too proud. Okay, because the Lord hates pride. The Lord loves what uh, the meek and the lowly. Okay, lowly, we know we're at a low place. Meek, that uh, we want to have understand. We want to get understanding. We want to get instruction from what Yahabah Shema Shai, no other. Okay, and the Lord has sent forth His men to be able to deliver that message. Jeremiah three fifteen. Now I will consider these things in myself. I ponder them in my heart. How to be allied unto wisdom is immortality. Okay, how to be allied to mean mean that you're with, you're allied with wisdom. Who has wisdom? The Heavenly Father. Okay, and Yahweh has been given the the the, the um, all wisdom. Okay, is immortality. Yeah, immortality going into we're going to be able to, all Israelites are going to be able to be um, immortal. As far as we're not going to, because Yahweh has defeated death. Yahweh has defeated death. So uh, let me read that again. Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 17. It says, Now when consider these things in myself and ponder them in my heart, how that I be allied unto wisdom is immortality. Yeah, because ultimately that will bring forth the kingdom. And Yahweh Shai, what has defeated death. Okay? And he's a, he's living he's living um, on the right-hand side, waiting to what come and judge the earth. Okay? And ultimately his kingdom will be here on earth and the, and the elect will be... Uh, the judges of that, okay, and all Israel will be saved ultimately. But in this time, only the elect are going to be able to get the understanding. The two thirds got to die. What a grievous death on this side because they reject the Lord. Okay, wisdom is song. They're not allied with wisdom. They're allied with, um, you know, the ungodly. Okay, so wisdom of Psalm in eight and eighteen. It says, "In great pleasure is to have her friendship." Okay, and her works of her hands are infinite riches. Infinite riches. Okay, and what are the Riches are we talking about? Are we talking about, uh, um, you know, a thousand dollars, you know, or you know, a million dollars, two billion dollars? Are we talking about that? No, we're talking about infinite riches, the riches of the Lord. Okay, which is what to be able to have salvation. Okay, they can't. When you read Psalms, I think that's forty nine. Okay, it speaks about the the rich. They can't buy. They can't buy um, life. <laughs> that's why. Uh, you know, the Rothschilds, they, they, they'll they buy new hearts. They'll get the new hearts and stuff because they know when they go to the other side, that's their, that's their ass. That's their judgment. Okay, their judgment is going to be hardcore slavery. Right now, those certain Rothschilds that passed on or these different elites have passed on, they're waiting ultimately on the judgment. Okay, because when that judgment comes down, okay, they're going to be in hardcore slavery for a thousand year period. Okay? Just like they did to us what what in righteousness. They can't buy... um. And they can't buy life. They try to. They try to, you know, we can we can be able to live forever, but they can't because the Lord is the one that, that gives you what, either life or death. The Lord could heal you or kill you. Okay. Yeah, right here. This is. Uh, 
Okay, this is Psalms 49 and 15. I read in the NLT. It says, but as for me, my power will redeem my life. He will snatch me. Yeah, right here. This, this is the point. Psalms 49 and 16. Be now there afraid when one is made rich, when the glory of his house increase. For when he dieth, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. Yeah, so nothing's going to descend up with you. Okay? For these rich people, anything that you have here, all that stuff, even, even our bodies got to be changed in a twinkling of an eye. That goes into the new covenant where the Lord beams us up and changes of a twinkling of an eye. Okay? Because you're not going to be able to go up into, you know, where the chariots are at with these type of bodies. Okay? These bodies are what corruptible. We're praying for what an incorruptible body. Okay, and who, who's the only one that can give you that? You have a shot. Okay, these devils don't got it, but they but they 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 puff up against the Lord. Okay, but they're just mortal men. Okay, let me read this in LT. Psalms 49 and 16. So don't be dismayed when the wicked grow rich and their homes become even more splendid. For when they die, they take nothing with them. Their wealth will not follow them into the grave. Okay, in the shao. Okay, so nothing's gonna be able to follow them into the spirit world. Okay, but they're what judgment. Okay, because the judgment um, is going to be when our Lord Yahweh Shai comes back. Okay, ultimately, where we can be able to be, the elect will be able to be saved. Okay, and then with the, the two thirds will come through the bowels of the very elect in the kingdom. Okay, and all the heathens will be what subject. Okay, and that's what the Lord is what advancing us to be able to see. They're what instructing us. Okay, this word um, this is to show oneself wise, to deceive, show one's wisdom. Yeah, and what's happening is you have men that are showing the wisdom of Yahweh Shem Rashai, and you have those that are showing the wisdom of themselves. Okay. So that's that word wise, you know, being able to see, but you have to be in what uh, be instructed. Right. So this is Proverbs 9 and 9 in the NLT. Instruct the wise and they will be even wiser. Teach the righteous and they will learn even more. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One re results in a good judgment. Yeah, and that's what we're praying for, a good judgment from who? Yahweh Shah. He's the one that's going to be what? Judging, okay, the people. Okay, and those that are not walking in his light and in straight path are going to find out that the Lord is not plain. Proverbs 9 11, wisdom will multiply your days and add your years to your life. If you become wise, you will be one to benefit. If you scorn wisdom, you will be one to suffer. Yeah, and that's ultimately what's happening is, um, you know, the, the ones that don't have access to the Lord, okay, they're going to begin to uh, suffer, um, you know, in front of everybody because we're going to see it, okay, because the Lord is going to show that he's not playing with those that are against him, okay? So going back to Psalms 1 and 1, it says, Psalms 1 and 1, it says, and what does it say? The righteous and the wicked contrasted. Yeah, they're against, they're um, one against another. It says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. Okay? So it's a blessing to be what advised by what um, our Lord Yahabah Shemar Shai and guided down what that straight path. Right? Let me see. I think there was one more thing I want to get in here. We have this word bless. Let's see. Yeah, Psalms 2 and 12. Kiss thy son, lest he be angry, and you perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are they that put their trust in him. So blessed are those that put their trust in him as far as the works that they're doing, that the Lord has them doing. Okay, this is Psalms 33 and 12. Blessed is, is the nation whose our power is Yahweh and the people whom he had chosen for his own inheritance. So who is the Lord's inheritance? The Israelites. Okay, but who's only dealing with? The elect. Psalms 34 and 8. O oh, taste see Yahweh Shem Rashai is good. Yeah, taste of what the, the doctrine, eat of the food, sup, you know, supping with the, the plate is, um, or the tables being prepared and, and brothers are what supping off with the different foods that are being prepared on the table, which the table is again, uh, the, you know, the scriptures. It says, O oh, taste and see Yahweh is good and blessed is the man that trusts in him. Okay. Psalms 40 and 4. Blessed is he that maketh Yahweh Shem Rashai his trust and respect not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Yes, yeah, so don't turn away from the truth. 
Okay, Psalm 65 and 4. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest and cause to reproach unto him. He will dwell in the courts. Why? It's like it. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house, even thy holy temple. Okay, and who is the temple? That's actually Yahrashah. Okay, he is the temple, and we are a part of what his temple. There's a spiritual temple uh, that's being built amongst our enemies. Okay, and we shall be satisfied. Why? Because our Lord Yahrashah is going to be in rulership. Okay, righteousness shall rule on the earth. This is Psalms 89 and 15. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound that shall walk in Yahweh in the light of the countenance. Yes, yeah, so the countenance, go, uh, countenance goes into your face. The Lord is what shining what light on your face. Okay, far as um, giving you the understanding. All right. So we get the point. Psalms uh, 1 and 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of Yahweh Shemashai, and his law do he meditate day and night. So in that law, we rehearse the righteous acts, but we're supposed to come with what sound doctrine. Okay, because that the Lord has given us the unction to know all things. Now, the other things the Lord is going to what teach us the ways. Okay, when you read Psalms 25. It speaks about the Lord, you know, uh, teaching us the path to go on, that straight path, right? Psalms 25 and 5. Yeah. Yeah, right here. I'll read this in LT. It says, Psalms 25 and 2. I trust in you, my power. Do not let me be disgraced or let my enemies rejoice in my defeat. No one who trusts in you will ever be disgraced. Yeah. Um, it speaks about that, you know, we won't be ashamed or, or confounded, right? No one who trusts in 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 Suck it. No one who trusts in you will ever be disgraced, but disgrace comes to those who try to deceive others. Yeah, you try to deceive that you're in the truth, but you're actually not. And eventually you will be found out. OK, because, again, the deceiver and deceiver are the Lord's and the Lord's going to have um, all, you know, um, far as um, everything be revealed. OK, Luke 12 and 2 Psalms 25 and 4. Show me the right path. Yeah, the right path. W Who's on the right hand side? You have a shot. Show me the right path, O Yahweh. Point out the road for me to follow. Yeah, point out the road for me to follow. And how is the Lord pointing it out? These are my men who are, <laughs> these are my men who I sent. Okay, why? Because they are speaking my dox they're speaking the doctrine from from um the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay, and they are worshiping what Yahweh Shem Shai. Okay, in truth and sincerity. They are teaching sound doctrine, also going into the doctrine, not just not just reading it. Word for word, but actually going into the words, the the hermeneutics of, uh, which is the um, the hermeneutics is when you go into the root of the words, the Greek, Latin, and the Hebrew. Okay, to be, get a better understanding, the Lord said, "Be give diligence to make the call and election short," and that was taught to us by our elders. Okay, which is taught to them by the Holy, you know, through, through the Holy Spirit. Okay, having men to be able to show you, you know, how, how what an example what was that Philippians three and seven. Okay, uh, Psalms 25 and 4, show me the right path, O Lord, point, point out the road for me to follow, lead me by, it says, lead me by your truth, yeah, so you shall know the truth, it shall set you free, okay, lead me by your truth and teach me, yeah, teach me, going into instruction, for you are thy power who saves me all day long, I put my hope in you, okay, remember, O Lord, your compassion and unfailing love, which you have shown from long ages past. Yeah, because the Lord has always sent forth his prophets to be able to give the warning. But what, what have our people done? They rejected it. And what is, um, they rejected the uh, the word, so the Lord rejected them. So we had to go and, you know, back to back, you know, uh, different captivities. But now we're in our last captivity, okay, according to what measuring the time diligently, okay? Psalms 25 and 7. Do not remember the rebellious sins of my youth. Remember the light of your unfailing love for the merciful, O Lord. Yeah, that's right, because the Lord made a covenant with what his um the Israelites, okay, that he would come back for the very elect, that he would um ultimately send his son, okay, to be able to make atonement for what our sins. Remember me in that light, which is what the truth. Okay, and the Lord what does not give uh will not give his um you know, will not give to another, meaning that he will not give up his uh, the inheritance that he has, which is Jacob, to another. Okay, he's not going to give it to to these these heathen nations. Remember me in the light of my unfailing love, for you are merciful, O Lord. Yeah, the Lord is very merciful. The Lord is good and does what is right. He shows the proper path to those who go astray. And so you can't say that you didn't know the the proper way because the proper men are out here, but also you have the false men that are out here. Okay, Psalms twenty five. 
and nine, he leads the humble in doing right, teaches them by his way. Yeah, teaches them by his way, by the actions that, that, that the works that the Lord gives us to do. Okay, um, the Lord gives us fruit, meat for repentance. Okay, it's it's Ephesians 2 and 8. It's a gift from the Lord. It's not any man should boast. Okay, so this is Psalms 25 and 10. The Lord leads with the unfailing love and faithfulness. All who keep his covenant and obey his demands for the honor of your name. Okay, for the honor of your name, O Lord, forgive my many sins. Who are those? Yeah, so again, the name. Let me read this in LT, Psalms 25 and 11. For my name's sake, O Yahweh, yeah, because the Lord put it on himself, right? That he would that he would come back for what his people. Okay. When you um let's see. I think it's I'm pretty sure it's Matthew or Isaiah 45, but let me see. Yep, that too. Let me just go to it. This is Isaiah 45, and I believe it's like 18 or something. I think it's 23. Isaiah 45 and 23. Yeah, right here. Twenty Yahweh Shema Shai. Isaiah forty five and twenty three. I have sworn by myself, the word is gone out of my mouth, and righteousness shall not return unto me. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. Okay, surely shall one say in the Yahweh, I have righteousness and strength. Even to him shall men come, and that all increase against him shall be ashamed. In the Lord Yahweh shall all the seed of Israel be justified and shall glory. Yeah, because ultimately all Israel will be saved. But in this time, it's only the elect are going to be able to receive what the message. Read this in NLT. Isaiah 45 and 23. I have sworn by my own name. I have spoken the truth. I will never go back on my word. Every knee will bend okay, to me and every tongue will confess allegiance to me. That's right. When you read um, Philippians 2. Okay. And the Lord had said it. And who are they going to bow to? What ultimately? Uh, Yahweh Shem Shai And his only begotten son. Okay. This is uh, Philippians yeah, 2 and 9. It says Philippians 2 and 9. Yet wherefore our power also had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Okay. That a name of Yahweh Shai, every knee shall bow. Yeah, so a name above every name, right? That the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things on earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is Lord to the glory of our power, the Father. Wherefore, our beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as my presence only, but how much more in my absence and work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Okay, follow the instructions. Let me read this in NLT. 12, dear friends and always followed by instructions when I was with you and now that I'm away okay is even more important work hard to show the results of your salvation obeying that power with deep reverence with fear yeah prayer without ceasing okay and engaging in the work not putting the plow down right so read this Psalms 25 and 11 for my name's sake O Yahweh pardon my iniquity for it is great what man is he that feareth Yahweh him shall he teach in a way that he shall choose his soul shall dwell at ease and his seed shall inherit the earth the secret of yahweh is with him that fear him and he will show him his covenant my eyes are ever toward yahweh for he will shall pluck my feet out of that net okay and that's what we're praying we're trying we're praying that we're able to be plucked out of what out of that net when you go to psalms 20 124 it speaks about the uh, uh the snare of the fowler okay and how the lord will be able to release us from that okay so going back this is psalms 1 and two, but his delight is in the law of Yahweh, and his law do he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth his fruit in a season. His leaves shall also not wither, whatsoever he do, he shall prosper. Yeah, so a tree is a metaphor for what people, and the Lord has what uh, planted us uh, by the, you know, the rivers of living water. So we're able to receive the water to be able to what grow, okay, to bring forth what those green pastures and that, that season in due season, the Lord will what uh, be able to save us. Right. For the ungodly are not so, 
but are like chaff which the wind driveth away. Yeah, chaff is what worthless. Okay, it's nothing going into the the, the fire. Okay, the ICBM missiles, right? The laser beams of fire. Psalms one and five. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in judgment. It says, it says, therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Yeah, they will be condemned at the time of judgment. Sinners will have no place among the godly. That's right. For Yahweh knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Yeah, because ultimately that's going to be their um, destruction. Okay, because what they, the ungodly is set up for the vessel of wrath fitted for destruction. And the Lord's coming with what? Um, healing in his wings. Okay, but we have to what? Endure to the end. And know that that, that we are blessed. Um, to be able to have this knowledge, wisdom, understanding, but we got to hold on to it. This is James 5 and 11. Behold, we count them happy which endure. You have heard the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord, that that the Lord is very pitiful and tender mercy. And the Lord will be able to what give mercy to the ones that what believe, Okay, the ones that um are listening to this message and he will save them. Okay, This is Psalms 37. And 18, our, this will be ending right here. This is Psalms 37. Because when all these evils come upon the earth, we're going to be able to um, have food, water, and shelter, the Lord willing, right? Psalms 37 and not 39, but the so, okay, but the salvation, Psalms 37 and 39, sorry, I got excited. Psalms 37 and 39, but the salvation of the righteous is of Yahweh. He is their strength in the time of trouble. Okay, so now it says Yahweh right here, right? Okay, but who? It says Yahweh right here, but but who is the salvation? Who's actually coming? Yahweh Shai, because the Heavenly Father Yahweh has sent it. Yahweh ordained it, and Yahweh Shai is going to be the Savior. Okay, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai means actually means He is the Savior, right? He is their strength in the time of trouble. So the strength of who? The very elect in the time of what? Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, and the Lord Yahweh shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in Him. Okay, and how is the Lord going to be able to save us? Okay. Saki. Isaiah 31 and 5. As birds flying, so will Yahweh of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it, and passing over it, he will preserve it. So the Lord's going to what? Preserve us through what? Those, those birds flying and speaking about the chariots. Okay, the world enemy calls UFOs. Okay, those are actually what the chariots of the Lord and how we're going to be able to be what saved. Okay, because the Lord is going to what lift us up when the coming destruction comes, Lord willing. Psalms 27 and 5, it says, For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me, he shall set me on high upon a rock. And now my head above, lifted up above my enemies round about me, therefore I will offer in his tabernacle, sacrifices of joy. I will sing. I will sing the praises unto Yahweh Shai. That's right. So with that, call Yahweh Shemiyah Shai Ba Shemiyah Kakodash Shalom to the Lord. Kamiyah Shalom.